I'm Bob Hoffman. Friends of this week's good neighbor call him an anomaly. That's because he's always smiling and passing kindness forward, even though life has continuously thrown him curveballs. 72-year-old Williamston resident Ken Dagner is always helping other people. Oh, I, I wish everybody would. When you meet Ken and hear his story, you can't help but be impressed by his energy and positive outlook. I love to make people smile. And Ken makes a lot of people smile, despite experiencing his fair share of life's difficulties. Ken is a Vietnam veteran and says he'll never forget the men who served alongside him, including his sergeant, Jim Monroe, who died on Memorial Day in 1970. Ken has a picture of Jim on his desk. You know, it still bothers me that he will never be a father, never married, never be a grandpa, never experience the things that I do. And when Ken returned home from Vietnam, he says the hits just kept coming. My mom died within the first year I got home, and then my three younger siblings all died just a matter of a couple years after that. Um, and it makes you appreciate every morning. When you wake up in the morning, you're supposed to do good. You're supposed to make the world a better place. And that's what Ken is doing. He says he's here to make a difference, no matter what happens to him. It's been up and down. I had a son that was addicted to heroin and quit breathing in my home. I had to resuscitate him. Ended up having him locked up in jail. I had another son who just got hit on a bicycle a year and a half ago and had a traumatic brain injury. Ken says both his sons are doing great now. And one way he's celebrating is by showing gratitude each and every day. Ken retired a few years ago, but he isn't slowing down. In fact, Ken says he's speeding up. He has two part-time jobs, volunteers at numerous nonprofits, manages a 180-acre farm where he grows his own food. He also loves to bake and give the treats away in his spare time. One of Ken's part-time jobs is at Paper Image Printing in Holt. Co-owner Missy Trudell describes Ken as a living angel. He is the man who is always stopping off at the when somebody's on the side of the road. He is very well known in the Aldi, Aldi grocery stores for paying for the person's groceries who are behind him or in front of him. He is just always doing good. He is constantly delivering sunshine all around him. I don't know, it started probably six years ago, and I've probably spent tens of thousands of dollars on other people's groceries, but when you see, especially elderly people, or uh, putting just their sugar in their basic loaf of bread and some eggs on the counter, you know, that's what they're eating and they're hungry, and I don't have a problem paying 10 or $12 for their groceries, and you know. Um, and I get lots of hugs and lots of thank yous and lots of smiles and lots of tears. One thing that I love about Ken is he brings people together. So he does a really great job about telling people about our mission. And so when we, whenever we're doing a drive, like for example, at the holidays or when we're you know, looking for food and supplies for families, he actually goes out in the community, finds other people to support us and then brings all that back to us. And so it's not just Ken, he's spreading the good word about our mission to make sure that we get more support and more awareness for what we do. Ken has never met a stranger. Ken, whenever he meets somebody, they just automatically become family. Ken is everything I think of when I think of a good neighbor. If I can make a difference, I'm gonna make a difference. And Ken, thank you for making a difference and sharing your positivity with everyone who crosses your path. You're this week's good neighbor. Why are you doing this? I says, because I can. Or it's random act of kindness day or it's pay it forward day.